We are back and we will try to be a little bit more regular with our videos. We took a little bit of break. Beginning of the year is always a tough one for us. We've been busy with the launch and with signing off. A lot of people on the plan trying to get to their bikini bodies. Um, I'm cramping a little. So I'm PMSing. I kind of almost gave up this workout, but I kept trying to convince myself that I can do it. I can get through it. I know the minute I start being active, it'll be better. It's just getting to the gym that becomes really difficult at times. So bear with me. It might be a little bit bloated and cramping and all my girly stuff. In your case, it's getting to the garage. Huh? In your case, in my case, yeah, <laughs> getting to the garage, not the gym, which in, it's even harder because it's still a little chilly in here. Um, anyways, I finally got batteries from my damn scale. I said I thought I was like 150, like maybe I hit the 150, wasn't 100% sure. No, I did, I cleared 150. <laughs> I'm 155.8. Uh, not too concerned about that. I started cutting before I even stepped on the scale because I felt it in me. But I'm not gonna cut like dramatically. I don't really wanna get like super shredded, but I do wanna get rid of some fluff and cellulite and all that stuff. So like refine a little bit if you get what I mean. But no like super shredding. It's just not my body goal at the moment. Be fine. Yeah, 150. But I mean, I'm not really going based off the scale. If I'm like 143 and I feel better, then hell, I'm 143 and I feel better. But um, so that's that's what we're doing. I'm gonna do leg day, kind of similar to everything. I did start incorporating a new workout, which I do like. I enjoy. It helps me go lower in my squat. It works my upper body, which I do need to work on my upper body now that I lowered calories. You know how I like, I don't want to build much size in my upper body, so when I do bulks, I ignore my upper body, which makes it look kind of flabby and weird and gross. <laughs> but um, now that I cut calories, I can go ahead and start incorporating a lot of upper body. And the only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to shed some of that fat up there. I'm not really going to grow massive in size because that's not the goal, and I'm not lifting to grow massive in size. So anyways, let's start. <laughs>
paid for effort. Not a good workout session. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was very good. I couldn't even do the bridge, like the hip thrust, because just thinking about that bar on me, uh-uh, no way. Every lift, after every lift, like my cramps got really bad. It's not your traditional period TMI, but I was a little late and I thought I was pregnant, so I took pregnancy test, came out negative, but then I'm like, but I'm still late, <laughs> so I don't know. I'm dealing with it, but these cramps are like, it feels like I'm having a baby and I'm having contractions, but I'm not having a baby. I'm not big enough to have a baby yet. I'm big, I'm just not big enough. <laughs> so I don't know, my body's going through some weird stuff right now. I would do a physique update since I'm at my heaviest, but I don't think it's, it would be uh, very accurate since my belly looks at times like I'm four months pregnant. Like it gets really bloated and then it goes down and then bloated again. So. We'll see what happens. I will keep you guys updated, obviously. But yeah, we're done with the workout, thank God. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. So there you have it. Um, in the beginning, I do completely non-posed my natural form, my body's natural way of standing. <laughs> no sucking in, no flexing, none of that. And then I show you guys a bit of flexing. I am fully aware that in some of those flexing moves, nothing is happening. <laughs> Which is the point that I'm starting um, cutting for summer because I, this bulk has been great. Um, I did it a little bit different which with each year. My bulks tend to change and I tend to focus on more minor things. Uh, and this time, this time in the last bulk, I really didn't focus on upper body at all. I didn't want to get massive in size. So like, that's why you don't really see my muscle too much. Like that's insane. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get that back now that I'm cutting and um, eating a little bit less. I can start incorporating a lot more upper body. I was just doing some maintenance upper body work to keep what I have there um, and maintain it. But now that I'm cutting, I can go ahead and um, reincorporate all my upper body things and get leaner up there. Um, when I say with every bulk, things change is because where I started, back like my before before body, I had a lot of work to do all over, everywhere I had to gain. Um, so I did everything. And then with each bulk, I started being like, I'm not gonna work that too much, I'm not gonna work this too much, it's fine. When I'm, when I'm cut, it's fine. Um, so I'm not gonna focus on that. Whereas like at this point, this bulk, I'm like, I need my hammies to grow, I need my calves to grow. Um, my glutes can use a little bit of work. So this bulk, um, because I didn't do very much upper body, it lowered my activity. I did a lot more leg day focused on building muscle in my lower body. So I used the surplus of calories I was eating solely to build the muscle on my lower body. Um, when I come out of a bulk, the number one thing I'm always asked is what do you do? How do you cut? How do you cut? I mean, it's, it's, it's black and white, but it ain't so black and white. Um, for me, because I didn't work out as often, when I did work out, I killed my workout, I focused on my lower body, I made sure to go intense, um, but I worked out less frequently because of that and because I wasn't doing my upper body, so now I can increase activity. And by increasing activity, you know how I, I made a post about 
um, you eat more, you work out more, you eat less, you work out less, like you have to find not only the calories to get to your body goal, you don't have to just find how to get to your body goal, but what is lifestyle friendly for you? You know, are you a waitress, you walk around a lot, you have to make up for that lost energy, um, depending on your goals, all that stuff. Well, for me personally, because I was only working out every third day doing leg day and some maintenance upper body days, I can increase activity and just lower my calories a smidge. Now, obviously somebody who's working out five, six days a week during a bulk, they can't just increase their activity and keep working out more and more. In their case, they'll probably have to have a bigger calorie cut. Um, and this is when, when I work with my clients, it's always like a reverse diet, but for some people it's a, it's a bigger number. Um, and for other people, it's a tiny little smidge, you know, here and there, uh, because you don't want to cut it's like going from a surplus to your deficit right away. You're gonna, you're gonna lose everything. It's it's gonna suck. I did that on my first bulk. I wasted so much time because I cut those calories so low for no no like you didn't even have to because your metabolism does increase after a bulk from eating at a surplus, which is the number one way, really the only way to increase your metabolism, but weightlifting combined with that uh, helps increase it more. So you actually never have to eat at that low of a deficit. Um, I know I, it gets very complex when I'm, when I'm explaining all the different scenarios and different things you can do, but that's also what makes fitness such a, a beautiful thing because you can carve your body however you want and you can make it lifestyle friendly and like two people could have the same goals but different paths to that goal you know so that's for me personally i cut very little and i increase activity and then if i feel i'm not um seeing as much change then i'll cut a little bit more i take it very slow and steady because i don't want to lose very much size that's not the goal here um i i don't really care for that shredded super lean body i'm just not a, not interested in it for me I like to have a little bit of fluff, a little bit of fat <laughs> on me. As I told you guys, you know, if you if you lose all your fat, your glutes are gonna look like muscle glutes. You know what those look like, right? But if you keep some of that fat on it, you get a nice little bubble butt. Kind of like to maintain that all year round. <clears throat> all year round, sometimes a little bigger <laughs> when I'm bulking. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. You guys are gonna get to see my body changing. I'll try to do these maybe once a month. They're not gonna be really like dramatic changes because I'm doing it slowly, but I do wanna see how like flexing and then once I start cutting, how it'll look. So anyways, I'm excited for this journey. I'm excited to take you guys with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if the workouts weren't so great. Um, I was in horrible pain. I don't even know how I got through my workouts, but um, I did somehow. It wasn't the best workout, but I'm happy I did it. Anyways, we're gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to hashtag love it so I know you love it and I can make more like these. Um, also, make sure to be subscribed, hit the little bell right by the subscribe button. And I think I just ruined my ending. It always goes in such a great flow. <laughs> I screwed it up this time. It's okay. Anyways, until next time, bye guys.